Hi everybody, it's Steve Grizzetti again, your man from Movie Picks and the author of the Movie Picks Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements 2025, looking at the new title templates. In part one of this two-part tutorial series, we took a look at a template that you modify by clicking on the program monitor and actually making changes to the text right on the monitor. Let's select a different template by going over to Titles and Shapes, clicking on the Templates tab. And this time we're going to select one called dynamic title opener. We'll drag that down to our timeline. And this one is very dynamic. It takes a second here for it to download. Just give it a second. Now in this particular title, I don't have some of the fonts that the title demands. Don't worry about that. If that happens to you, other fonts will be substituted for it. So I'm just going to click OK for now. We'll put our playhead up next to the beginning of this particular template and we'll show you how elaborate and complicated the animation is. So we've got a graphic in the background, a bunch of text that appears and dances around. And it's a pretty cool, pretty complicated animation. Let's do some modification, but we're not going to modify the text or the graphics by clicking on the program monitor. In this particular case, this type of template, you make the changes in the titles and shapes panel. So if I select that template on my timeline and go over here, you notice I have text controls. And if I click open text controls, I have seven different text workspaces here. Let me open that again seven different text workspaces here and I'm going to change the text right in the panel itself so where it says dynamic I'm going to call it flying we can of course change the font the color and even the size of the text uh, we can change the size of the text by moving this slider here let's make that nice and big we'll go down to text blocks 2 and we'll call this over the city And again, we can make that a little smaller if we want. Now, some of this other text that flies in just sort of flies in incidentally, so we can put any words we want in there. So instead of trendy, we'll call it soaring. Number four, we'll call it airborne, et cetera. And we would do that for all seven of these text blocks. And we can see now if we replay the animation that that new text has been added and that appears as part of the uh, animation. Now we can also change the graphics. You notice in the background there's this circle, this triangle, and the square. Those are just placeholders. We can put our own logo or our own graphic in there. Let's close up text controls and we'll focus on media replacement. And here is that graphic appearing five times. Uh, in the template or in the animation, we can click on the little hamburger menu next to it and replace from Explorer and locate a different graphic, one I call Starburst. This is just a graphic I created in Photoshop Elements. We can select the second one here, go to the hamburger menu, and once again add a different Starburst. I think this one's a different color, but it's the same graphic. And we can do that with all five of these. And now that we've added these graphics, we'll have and again, you can put your custom, your company logo, your custom logo, any graphics you want here. But you can see that we've pretty dramatically changed the animation without doing any deep animation on our own. But let's see how this graphic looks now or this title template looks now. It's pretty cool. The template does all the hard work and the heavy lifting. All you need to do is provide the content for it. So titles are pretty cool. Uh, enjoy these templates. Explore them. Explore Adobe Stock. These are all free to use. And you can explore the whole library of them, which is going to be continually growing and changing 
uh, changes for the seasons. It changes as they add new templates. Build your own library of title templates here in Premier Elements. Now, if you want to know more about this program, if you want to know everything there is to know about Premier Elements 2025, I hope you'll check out the tips and tutorials we have here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to know everything about the program, you'll want to pick up the Movie Picks Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements 2025. That's available at Amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. I'm the guy who wrote the book, the man from Movie Picks, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.